Let's talk about short selling. What is short selling? The I know. Um, short selling. Um, mura siya. Wait, but ako na bibisaya. Tagalog. Yo, so what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then let me introduce myself first. I am Gabriel Manuel. We make videos about personal growth, finance, investing, and crypto. I also upload university vlogs and interviews people from all walks of life. Interesting? Then like my videos, click that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for you to stay updated. Alright, let's begin. Yo guys, so um, in today's video, we're going to talk about short selling and, and how I lost around 20k. Kasi hindi ko ginawa yun. But anyway, um, I don't know kung nanini bago kayo, but um, I enjoyed this setup, you know what I'm saying? Like, very vlog type talaga siya. Yung tipong, eto, uh, I'm just the, the normal me. Hindi yung tipong nag pa ako and everything like that. Although, mayroon akong um, script behind me. Pero like, it's not actually script na talaga. It's, it's more like of a flow na lang ng sasabihin ko. Compared to previous videos, ko were in I really write scripts, talaga. So like right now, medyo lax tayo, you know, which is good for me. And I guess, ito rin yung gusto nyo, kasi like um it gets straight to the point. Walay tayo yung masadong skits and like mga side jokes pa na sinasali natin sa channel natin. Although yun yung gusto ko ng gawin, and I guess. Some of you guys enjoy that thing too, because like um, you know, magikita magikita nyo don yung side ni Gab na palabero na corny na walay parang ganon. But um, yun nga ngayon, I'll try to upload videos that are shorter since like um, nakita ko sa YouTube algorithm ko. I mean sa nakita ko sa YouTube studio ko na yung attention time ng mga viewers ko ay around three to six minutes lang. And my videos are roughly 15 to 20 minutes, ganon 10 to 15 minutes rather. So ngayon I'll try to keep things short, para naren like um hindi kayo ma bored sa panonood ng mga videos ko. So yeah, let's get started. Rule intro. Ah wait 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 wait, tapos na pala. So yun yun um sure gusto ko rin gawin yun. I mean gusto ko rin gawin yung mga walay ko na mga jokes na yun yung mga tira ko na yan. But, um, yeah. Mag-a-adjust tayo, but I'm pretty much sure na hindi yan mawawala sa channel natin. I mean, once in a while, gonna upload videos pa rin like that thing. But, ngayon, let's enjoy this. You know what I'm saying? So, yun nga, guys, no? Ting, 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 Um, I lost more or less 20k in my crypto and here's why let's talk about short selling what is short selling the i know um short selling um mura siya o wait but ako nagbibisaya tagalog short selling is like i mean in layman's term short selling is selling your coins your crypto assets at a price na comfortable ka na tapos kapag baba pa yung market bibili ka ulit I mean like ganito na yung market ngayon tapos nagangat siya ng 5% short sell ka tapos here comes the dip bili ka pag angat ulit short sell ka dip bili parang ganun yung concept niya and hindi ko yung nagawa sa bitcoin ko yes guys specifically bitcoin lang yung hindi natin na short sell ano ko um where I hold on we're able to short sell Ethereum, Dogecoin, XRP, and Bitcoin Cash at that time. That's why nakabili tayo ng bike for my mom as my Mother's Day gift to her. So yun nga, Bitcoin na specifically yung hindi natin na short sell. So yes guys, maybe you're asking na Gab, you know this thing, you know what short selling is. You've been in the crypto world for some months na, and you said in your previous videos, wow, gilanto yun din yung guys. Langga ikaw nyo na. Um, yun nga, you said in your previous videos na, it took you more than a year or almost a year to learn the basics and the fundamentals of cryptocurrency and 
how come hindi ka nakapag short sell and that's bitcoin you know what i'm saying that's the mother of all that altcoins i mean that's the mother of all crypto coins out there diba paano mo yan hindi na short sell it's because um charm dapat mga good guys kaya tawid ako na kayo diba ka parang ano na sa ikla na na so yun nga no um this is a vlog type so yeah um i wasn't able to short sell it kasi I really thought na magtaas pa yung value niya. So, hindi rin ako nakapaggamit ng indicators back then. It's more on a, I mean, in my behalf ha. Um, yung iba ko ng mga coins ay parang experimental trading. While the Bitcoin, I believe in the, I believe in the technology kasi ng Bitcoin. So, like, um, I am really thinking na hodl lang talaga yung gagawin ko sa Bitcoin. Shout out hodl gangs! para sa mga apo natin. <laughs> anyway, um, yun nga, no? Pero, I didn't see that thing coming na uh, almost 50% yung baba niya sa Bitcoin. So, you do the math, guys, and malalaman nyo kung ilan ang exact value ng money na yun nga, um, it's a talo. Value money na nag-depreciate sa ating portfolio. So, gab, iyak ka na ngayon. Well, um, iyak in a way na ang liit na lang ng portfolio ko ngayon compared sa portfolio ko last month. Kasi nga, grabe yung pagbaba ng Bitcoin. Pero, I, 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 I take that thing as a lesson. You know what I'm saying? Ito talaga yung sinasabi ko sa sarili ko. Um, there's a lot of people, hindi tayo, hindi ulit tayo nagpaparinig ko. Okay? Hindi tayo nagpaparinig. Pero, maraming mga tao dyan na nag-offer ng mga 10% interest monthly, 3% interest daily, wala kang gagawin, ilalagay mo lang yung pera mo sa kanila, shhh, tapos at the end of the day, kukunin mo with the interest na sinasabi nila. And hindi ko yun, hindi tayo nag-jump into that thing, kasi like, I believe kasi na kapag ako yung, ako mismo yung mag-trade, ako mismo yung mag-e-invest, kahit na matalo tayo, Um, we learn something, you know. Parang bayad natin yung talo natin as our lesson. Uh, para sa lesson sa makukuha natin. Whereas kung ilalagay lang natin yung money natin sa mga um, investment schemes na yan na hindi natin alam kung legit ba or hindi legit. But mostly, alam nyo na ano yan sila. So, unlike kung ilalagay lang natin dyan, tapos it happened na scam pala yun. And they just go away with your money. So, wala. You don't learn something. I mean, you learn something. Na hindi na ulit maglalagay ng pera sa mga ganyan. But as well as I have noticed sa mga Filipinos, wala. They keep on believing um, things that are too good to be true. But anyway, um, I guess we're bit off na sa main topic natin. So, so yun nga, no? that's the main reason kung ba tayo um, medyo malaki yung baba ng pera natin sa portfolio natin for our Bitcoin assets. Uh, kasi hindi na nakapag short sell. So, yun. Um, last, last thing lang ulit, no? Um, let's not, let's not, ano siguro, let's not make galit to those people na, yun nga, kagaya ko, na it's been months na, na nasa crypto world, tapos almost a year na nag-aaral next a self study about cryptocurrency tapos ends up na nga basics ng short selling hindi niya nagawa kasi iba talaga guys if you experience it first hand it's it's like ano kasi na madali siyang sabihin na ah kapag magre-raise ito ng 20% benta ko na pero if you see the charts talaga guys if you see your, your candlestick na paangat ng paangat lang siya you keep on telling yourself too na ah baka magiging 30% pa to. Ah, baka mag 45%? Baka mag 50%? And all of a sudden, here comes the dip, the first dip. Then, nagiging 5% na lang yung interest mo. Ah, hindi, hindi ko ito ibibenta. Um, correction lang to ng market. Aangat ulit to. Pero wala. Nagdi-dip naman. Hindi, hindi ko ito ibibenta. Ganyan yung nabili ko. Tapos, nagangat ulit. Oh, see? Correction lang eh. And here comes the bigger dip and the biggest dip. So, ayun. Hindi mo na siya na short sell. Kasi meron talaga talang side na ganyan Which is Yes, I talked that thing in my previous video na It's it's a it's an emotion driven market 
So dapat control mo yung emotion mo. But yun nga, ako mismo naging victim. I am a victim by my emotions or um, in, in the past weeks right now. So yun. I guess that's the main lesson para sa akin sa sa pagdip ng Bitcoin ng ganito kalaki. And I guess yan din yung main lesson natin for this vlog. And I hope you guys um, learn something from this vlog. Um, next time, kung gusto nyo, let's talk more about short selling and other um, crypto terms. You know, um, maybe maglalagay tayo ng crypto terminologies part 2. Kasi, um, yun nga, di ba mayroon tayong mga bagong words like deep correction market error, um, short selling, parang ganun. So, lalagyan natin yan. Maybe maglalagay tayo ng bagong video. But, for now, I guess that would be it. Kasi, like, ang, ang igang na, no? What's igang? Ang init na. Kasi, I just turned off my aircon to film this. And, nandito tayo ngayon sa man cave ko. And, it's less than 6 square meters. Tapos, contained talaga siya. I don't know kung naririnig niyo yung aso sa labas. That's Nala and Gray. It's their birthday today, May 26, 2021. It's their first birthday. I don't know rin kung naririnig niyo yung mga tao dun sa labas. Those are the kids na neighbors namin na naglalaro ng basketball since like it's around 3.38 na ng hapon. So yeah, I gotta turn on the aircon na. Mm-hmm. And eagle na kasi guys, so maghubo na tano. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And sana sa bye nyo pa ako sa future journey ng buhay ko. Bye. God bless everyone.